Strength of schedule is so much more important in college football. RJ Bell here at the pregame.com studios just off the Vegas Strip. We're talking Florida and Arkansas. Who do you like and why? We're taking the home underdog Arkansas plus the points. That's right. Arkansas, this talk strength of schedule, has played the much tougher schedule in this matchup. In fact, they have played four teams in the top 20 of my current power ratings, which you can find on pregame.com in the forums. On the flip side, Florida, even though they're an SEC team, has played zero top 20 teams so far this season. In fact, the only team they played in the top 35, they actually lost by 10 at Tennessee, an overrated Tennessee team, hidden value also. The other tough team they're supposed to play, LSU, that game got postponed in November. Add it all up. We like Arkansas plus the points. Now, strength of schedule. In the NFL, it's important, but really, it's a small variation between the teams, especially once you get into the midpoint of the season. College seems much different because if you look at the out-of-conference games early in the year, it can be wide-ranging strength of schedules. How do you account for that in your handicap? Number one, I rely on my power ratings. And number two, what I often do two or three So just times to be clear, when you say rely on your power ratings, is you're looking each week to see how impressive the results are. And part of that assessment is how strong the opponent was. And that's your power ratings is an ongoing assessment of strength of schedule. Yeah, just because they played a 3-0 and team, well, how did they do against the spread against that team? That factors in. Which is expectation. Absolutely. And then I go through it a couple of different times during the season. Maybe they played a bunch of overrated teams. Maybe they played a bunch of underrated teams. Add it up. That's why I go through it. Because if you make an assessment at the time the game is played, you can only account for how good the team is considered at that point. Three, four, five weeks later, they could be much better or much worse. And thus, in hindsight, you reconsider how strong a team schedule is. Absolutely. Yeah. And which kind of leads me in my second part of the handicap. No, no, no. That's my job. I'll give you the second part. I do want to pitch one other thing because it is so good. Is we do the dream pod, me, you, and Malensky, college. I host. You guys go at it. And if you like, you know, in as people who are listening can consider if they like that deeper stuff, Dream Pod, link from the pregame.com homepage. All right, now as the host, I'm going to say second main handicap. And play. the second one we talked about in that Dream Podcast and what we have is a classic overreaction to just one single game. Arkansas's last game. Keep in mind they're off a bye, which is another reason why I like them. Against Auburn, and let's set it up. Public actually liked them. They were a 10-point underdog. Why did they like them? Had a great game against Alabama. Outright upset over Ole Miss. Everybody's on them. What happens in that game? They get beat 56-3, to allow 545 yards rushing. Everybody's off the bandwagon now, except this guy. I'm still on it. I love it because recency bias. Everyone overreacts to what they saw most recently, especially in the SEC where fever and passions run high. Let's make it official. Yeah, let's make this official. We're taking Arkansas plus the points. Strength of schedule is so important in college football. Florida's played a soft schedule for an SEC team. Arkansas has played a tough one. Also, we have more line value, 56-3 to final in Arkansas's last game. Add it up, take Arkansas plus the points. More videos at pregame.com.